Anish Chopra joins us this morning, currently Arcadia's chief strategy officer. Anish, great to have you. Um, I wonder, after years of worrying about the threat of hacks, do we need to start worrying about updates? Well, you're describing really the challenge of dependency on, on single points of failure. And we saw that earlier in the healthcare sector with the outage tied to uh, Change Healthcare, part of uh, United. And so the same planning and incident response that you need to protect against an attack obviously needs to be applied in areas where you're a single point of failure if a system itself goes down for other reasons outside of an attack. It's a wake-up call for sure because we're heavily dependent on digital connections and that comes with these uh, risks. Do you think, are, are we at risk of becoming over digitized or is there even such a thing? Well, I think what we need to do is learn a lot of the underlying challenges around how we uh, mitigate the single point of failure problem. In some cases, there's an opportunity to have more of an open and competitive marketplace. So I don't know all the details as to how CrowdStrike managed their, what they'll call the library of all of the potential attack vectors. But if there is a mechanism to update libraries in a more uh, open and competitive way, there might be pressure to make sure that that is done in a manner that has I's and T's crossed and dotted to make sure we don't have these sort of unexpected uh, downstream effects. Uh, I do believe in general, uh, we've got this chicken and egg problem when we are reliant on the connections to the internet and we want to protect those connections. That is a very sensitive place and so we have to evolve to a world where we understand that threats will occur, we will be attacked, although not in this case, but in general. So being able to be resilient upon an attack or a system outage is an, as much an issue as it is to protect uh, from those attacks in the first place. Is there a role, a niche for, I don't know, government or some sort of system-wide regulation to make sure companies like a CrowdStrike are doing the proper checks and the proper rollouts, given how much damage can be caused? Well, for sure, there already is a role. We do have a bipartisan commitment that on issues of critical infrastructure and this idea of systemic risks, Homeland Security is engaged. It's a voluntary resource to companies to figure out how they can learn and share uh, certainly uh, threats, uh, cybersecurity threats, but in this case, understanding how uh, systems that are dependent on others can work better together. Our country relies on public-private collaboration on technical standards. That's a hallmark of the United States. And so further improving ways in which we can work together, whether it be improving competition, uh, strengthening accountability for dependent IT systems, all of that is today thankfully bipartisan and often technical, and we do have the places, the mechanisms in place to do so. Now, certain industries, like you saw the airline industry or energy sector or banking sector, in my background, healthcare, they have separate regulations to go above and beyond the general e commerce internet. And so we'll likely see reactions in those regulated sectors that may be slightly different than what the general economy will see. And that's a healthy thing. Anish, you know, if this can occur from a simple content update, shouldn't we be even more concerned about what bad actors with, uh, with bad intent and deeply embedded in some of our networks, such as China, could actually do if they wanted to bring harm? Well, everyone is aware of those uh, threats, and the challenge we've faced as a society is how do we basically build bigger moats? I think one of the ch most challenging briefings I had received unclassified from uh, our friends in the DOD was the ref reference to cybersecurity as asymmetrical warfare. You only need to write a few lines of code to attack, but to defend, you got to have this ever bloated system that identifies every potential attack vector and blocks it. That's not a winnable strategy. So we need to think about next generation cybersecurity responses. And I think that comment about mitigating the risk when attacked is the posture we have to move towards. And we're starting to get there. Assume the systems go down. What's our plan B? And we're going to see a lot more scenario planning. Uh, any organization that's got risk management responsibility, this is going to be job if not one, certainly one, two, or three, to make sure we have those scenarios outlined in our respective organizations when we're dependent on digital connections uh, for customers, support, and so forth.